All right, I just want to make a note that this star anise is a little, it's a little strong to consume. It's a little strong by itself with, with bananas. Okay, it's a little strong. So I mixed flaxseed in with the star anise. The various brown, the light brown and the dark brown. This is mostly the dark brown. Crush them up, crush a little star anise with uh, the flax seed. And, and then, uh, I don't know, I could crush it a little bit, I suppose. Mix it all, mix that together. And it's not so harsh. The, the uh, star anise tastes pretty good. Uh... The star anise tastes pretty good with banana, but it's a little harsh. And the flaxseed uh, uh, takes, it reduces that harshness taste. It makes it more pleasant. Alright, well I tried to look into this uh, piece I cut off about the same size as my, as my uh, regular, my medium sized uh, walking sticks, but it's just too curvy. It's so annoying. I can't stand the curve I wanted to just cut it off and look at it get a feel for it It's so curvy It's no good. I really I really need I like the thickness But I really need it to be straight too So I can't give up what I have um, In favor of a, a thicker one that's more curvy Cause that's just no good all right first of all i just want to say uh, at this walmart i can i can actually curl they have a uh, wow look at that just made some money uh, uh they got a 50 pound uh, kettlebell here it's kind of rare and i can actually curl it i actually have enough bicep strength to curl it and a uh, lar large reason why i'm able to curl it is because I'm doing more pull-ups with my sticks. That's been the biggest booster for my bicep strength. <clears throat> and next, I gotta take this out. I gotta evaluate my food bank food. I got a lot, and I gotta look through. I gotta figure out what I wanna eat for the for the day uh, in relation to what's gonna rot. What can I, what I can cook. I got a lot and I don't want it just rotting on me so I gotta make a food plan based on what I got so I can get through this stuff because it's all good I should be doing eating it <clears throat> all right got these tomatoes from the Cambridge food bank and let me just say I don't think that they came from a store stores don't shell, sell uh, such a wide variety of misshapen tomatoes i think this came from somebody's local garden and uh, i want to clean them off and then smash them up and then cook them a little bit and then mix them with milk because that's like pizza all right sorting through all the tomatoes now i want to crush them i got this nice long stick for that and I added two peppers that I took. So I'm gonna get it all nice and smushed and then put it over the propane stove. All right, I decided to add a little cayenne pepper. I already added some, so not too much more here. So that it has a chance to moisturize better. So. I'm never quite sure what the ideal uh, cooking time should be. I, at least get it to a boil. It's been boiling. Uh, I don't think I should cook it too much, too much after boiling. All right, approaching the library in St. Cloud, Minnesota. See what it's like. All right, there's definitely homeless activity around here. 
leaving a bag of clothes. Uh, somebody just hangs out, hung out there, I think. Check this out. They're just hanging out. All right, I ate two blueberries already. I'm pretty sure these are blueberries. It's quite a drop down there. These, these, uh... They look like blueberries and nobody has harvested them. I've actually run them over a little bit. <clears throat> I should probably back my car up. Yeah, they, yeah, they stain my teeth. <laughs> they look like blueberries, um, a slightly different, and they have no sweet taste at all. But that's fine. It's, tech, it's all about the texture and getting, getting really stained. What are they eating? Paper? Yeah. Yummy paper. Or is it plastic? Yeah, yummy plastic. There you go, pull it out of his mouth. You gotta fight him for it. Oh, you want the stick? You want to try to use the stick? Uh, I don't want to hurt your stick. Oh, well, use two hands. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the plastic? <laughs> All right, St. Cloud is really combining quite a dynamic. I mean, I haven't seen much yet, but I'm, I'm noticing that there's a heavy Muslim population and also gay rights. So they've come together in St. Cloud. Let's see, how, I, I have to look around to see how that works out. I mean, we're talking people who speak like Arabic or Farsi, whatever that language is around the park little gay rights oh it's a a fan to cool yourself down that's how gay people cool themselves down as they fan themselves because there's so many somalians here uh, as, at this Walmart, they're selling better stuff in this, like the Arabic section. I'm taking one of these, I'm taking one of these. Good choices. And it's curious with the grape leaves. I kind of don't like them pickled, though. But there's other choices I haven't seen in other Walmarts before, thanks to the Somalians. Even this honey. This looks good. Alright, I think I want to get this just to try it. It's got these for ingredients. I've never seen that uh, them put together like that before for seven spice. <clears throat> they keep this Brosnan truck parked right in the front all night. So I cut my eight foot down to a six foot 
and I really I like the six foot it's thick so I come into this walking area I'm thinking I need another six foot I'm gonna get rid of my other super tall I think I want to cut this one this piece extended and I won't have any eight feet then and I can't touch my fingers together on this this piece and that's what I want a good training stick I can't have them too long in my car but I'll go with extra thickness at least so this is gonna be gonna be kind of my training training sticks at six feet just slightly slightly longer than what I've been using um, I don't know I guess I'll have a five and then this one short one and then a six I have three different ones and then this one will be another one get rid of the the one that's almost eight feet because that's too old and beat up anyway that's the plan problem when I go too thick though I can barely I can barely hold these with just one hand and every so often I need to do that so I can't go beyond that limit at least but just to make note this is a part of a willow tree and it's attached to this big willow this stick I'm not sure where I want to take it it's kind of wet I'm not sure it's kind of beat up all right this willow is no good it broke at my body weight I just kind of put I just kind of straddled it and it broke it's not it's not really strong enough the way I want it right in st. Cloud the mosquitoes are kind of bad I'm on the north side of st. Cloud not far from that north Walmart and I just took some trails walk around and got this walking bridge I guess oh, training with these thick sticks they are tough to hold with with uh, two with one hand Wow in st. cloud walking away from the Walmart the North Walmart I wanted to go check out this hope bridge and as I'm walking down I see this I thought it was a deer somebody's bought brought some statues out it's not even really a private property it's just a swampy area there's a little shortcut this is to a dead end road here which stops at the road that goes over this or ends at the, the Bridge of Hope I just want to see if maybe I could get a glimpse of it there's no access anywhere to the river all these houses have owned the property on the river front yeah I didn't even expect to see a fence this house looks like it's uh, inactive, but I don't think I could take the chance. You can see the river from here. They got long properties that go to the river, but there's no access. You can't. There's no access to seeing this this Hope Bridge. It's probably not that big of a deal. All right, it's really nice to have these binoculars. I've never in my eight years of uh, living in my car, I've never had binoculars before and i park in random places and sometimes i just can't see things i can't see things just at a distance that all i gotta do is put it up to the binoculars and oh maybe not okay so the camera can't see it but i can actually read the gas amount it says 309 i can't read it on the camera um <laughs> But I can't read it really well with my naked eye. I just put it, I just, just wear, just put on the binoculars and here we go. You can see, yeah, 309. I just can't point it out with a camera. Instead of using my car vents, I'm trying to use the, this fan or even maybe these little ones. Uh, it takes a long time to try to get this moisture off. That's why I'm pointing this fan at. The windshield for is I just want to I want to get rid of this moisture so I could drive to the the library it's working a little bit 
I'm not too happy with it though. Let's see. It's hard to beat green milk. Although I'm gonna put a little more milk in that and whiten it up. All right, I'm walking from the library in downtown St. Cloud, and I wanna see the river at least. That's a fairly good dry walk, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how far exactly. That's weird. Downtown. This is a first for me on a lamp post where they normally post banners. They put a digital sign in place of the banner. I've never seen that before. No, but it's the only one, so it's too costly to stick with the traditional banners where you line them, put them all on light lamp posts. Just one. drop I kicked it well there's a trail what there's no access down there they want you to drop I guess I could try why wouldn't they have a uh, access over here in the best western parking lots or Kelly Inn or whatever I want to take that walking trail oh that's a that's a drop uh, I couldn't even make use of my sticks they're not tall enough Set him off to the side. All right, Native American life along, around here. I still don't understand why they didn't sell copper. Why there was no discussion of Indians selling any copper, only like furs and stuff. <clears throat> Zebulon Pike. I've seen Pike's Peak. Alright, this is a reenactment from 1926. A long time ago for a further long time ago. The big squeak from them axles. <clears throat> right, they got a five story parking garage here. Pretty good workout. <laughs> but with walking sticks, good workout for my upper body. My legs are not as tired as they've gotten in the past climbing these things. A little windy. It's your main towers. So that's the city hall. Check out this other side. See, I can't even. Okay. All right, just down a little bit further. So I can check. Whoa. Oh man, so you can walk, well, that's got a building block in any view, so looks like people might live there, air conditioning still in their windows, September 21st or 22nd. And uh, that's not a part of the river over there. I think it's some separate, oh, that's maybe the park lake. P 
people have argued that smoking is not loitering because it has a purpose is my guess why this is here. This library is still checking out VCR tapes and audio cassettes. I got quite the fleet here. <laughs> Just in St. Cloud. Oh, Jesus. Stern's History Museum is saying that these are all privileges and not rights. Loitering, littering, drugs, abusive language, loss of privilege, because they don't want to call it a right. They're pushing the envelope. It's like the road to St. Cloud. I got this in the park. So they put the welcome to behind St. Cloud. Ain't that something? All right. All right, at Willow Creek Park. I don't know the city in Minnesota. And I'm going to the library. They're open three to six. And I want to get there at least before they close to see if they got a password it's always a threat it's always a problem if they have a password so it's a little after oh, a little after three now <clears throat> just want to check it out it's not far from where i'm parked I forget the city name. It is it's Kimball, K I M B A Ball. And uh, you make a home run, you get $120,000 or $5,000. Fund grandstand fundraising. I don't know what the heck's going on. There's like three cameras. Two, I don't believe, work. But this one looks more likely to work. But look at that. They're exposing the wire ends, the connectors, to water. That's just making it uh, exposed to, to water. But the screen there? It's just like they just... It seems like they just set it up, but uh, I don't think it works. But, well... The trail cam likely would work, but I don't understand why they, maybe, I don't know, it's it's just weird that they have uh, ca uh, three cameras at least and a camera warning out here for just this. There's nothing. <sighs> I hope I'm not getting messed with. All right, looks like we're all clear. What 
what is that stuff? I'm just going to look at the museum, oh, yeah, so... Yeah, welcome. Have that's, you ever been it. here before? Or? Well, no, but I mean, I, I could, I'm sure it's uh, self-explanatory. Okay. Right, okay. yeah. If I have questions, I'll come back. Various herbs. What the, oh, my God. Okay. So none of this is actually on display. I can't find, I don't want to lock myself in. They can't find a good reason to put this on this, or a good place to put this on display. All letter type and typewriters. Looms and the computing scale. 
um, the lumber carpentry stuff. This is neat. Banners. <laughs> All right. Old re replica gun or relic. I think this is a washing machine. Music box. Where you hold your records. Ooh, an electric thingy. Looks doesn't look that old though. Old ironing board. Old old bowl skull. Cool. What do you know about it? You look like an old guy. You been here when I was in operation? No. Oh. No, it used to be a yeast mill. Yeah, it used to be ergot yeast, yeah. which is uh, what caused the Salem witch trials. But not in Minnesota. They might have had they might have had a hmm. similar problem too, huh? Now you know more than I do, then. Salem witch trials? Yeah, I don't. I don't remember anything about them. That's Travis. Question for you, Travis. Uh, Heinz, H E I N Z E. Okay, and have you been to um, this food shop before? Or the Litchfield one? Yeah, have you been to this? You only have. Oh, no, not this one, no. Have you been to what's Litchfield the one before? No, what's okay. the organization that it's. Is it is it like the, the fish? 
under the, is it a certain? This is the Dassel area food shop. Okay, just that's a, just a local area. It's not yeah. part of a network or whatever. No, we have this you know, site here and we have one in Litchfield and they're both I mean, together. You have a food distribution warehouse that you get food yeah, from. Yeah, we I'm get sure. food from Second Harvest Heartland. Second Harvest? Oh, yes. okay. All yeah, right. we're an affiliate of them. Okay, all right. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Okay. Do you, you need anything else or um, just... Do you live locally? Well, no, I'm home. I live in my car. So okay. I, just, I just traveled here, so I don't know rabbits and yep okay yeah okay um so do you want a box or a bag or well i i'm gonna put it whatever i could fit in this bag because i parked at the museum actually i was just okay. out walking <laughs> sounds good i didn't quite uh, know about this yeah okay so yeah. i will just Wow, this dog's not coming on the road at all. Onion flakes. I'm trying to eat these every day. Yum, yum, yum. Gotta wash them down with milk. Got some mixed messages at the American Legion in Litchfield. Violators may be towed, but support the U.S. and our military. Seems like mixed messages. All right, somebody's giving away Karen stuff. Something about storage unit or whatever. They put it in a parking space. All this stuff, trail mix. I don't think this has been here very long. Next to the Zeph Energy. Looks like somebody's giving away a baby bed here at this yellow house. But they don't have a sign. <clears throat> Find weird things in neighborhoods. Having warm blood gives me a head start in the morning over the insects. There's a, I come out here and not get pestered by the insects because they're not warmed up enough. And it's only in the 50s, but that's, that's enough. So they got a little something to scare the birds away. This dangling owl. Sure, that's really effective. I think I see some bird poop on the on the wing, actually. This toaster is pretty nice. As soon as it's done, I can grab it while it's hot. It's got a nice insulation. All right, so it looks like they charge twenty-three dollars for a tent for a tent space. Gosh, that seems like a lot of money for just a tent. For some reason, I thought I was looking at a 63. Let me get these off. A 63 old license plate, but I was, for some reason, I was reading it upside down. It's a 30, 1939 
license plate Minnesota 308007 I guess got kind of a old trash pile here at the camp came across an old broken like rubber ball and now it got me thinking like maybe I could be using old tennis balls cut into the old tennis balls and use them for the ends of my walking sticks I find old tennis balls they might work So, uh, yeah, I uh, had a lot of cayenne and tomato sauce about 1 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock now, and I had a lot. So that stuff is going to kick in, and it's like I got to be ready for it because it is just every time so, so violent. So I got this little pocket stand at Walmart. I really like it. I think I want to get a couple more. It's it's pretty much it's something that fits in a pocket. I think I'd like to have it in other other bags, like have a couple of these and just keep them in other bags because it's pretty nice. It gives me more opportunity to take uh, pictures that I normally would not. open. When the sun goes down, you need to go. It stays open. I, I stay here. All right, buddy. What's your name? I'm the boss here. What's your name? What? Oh, the boss? Yeah. I'm, I'm the boss. What's your name? Huh? I don't hear you. When the sun you. goes down, you go. I don't hear your name, buddy. McLeod Lee County Park. Yeah? Is that a threat? Yeah. Um, they, they were concerned about uh, how you were doing. Okay. Is everything okay? I have no complaints. What What was the exact like complaints? What's uh, your name? That too? you had been asked to you had been asked to leave and you were kind of not oh, listening to them. He just said something about the sundown. It's, it's sundown and I left. Okay. So so, so there is a misunderstanding. In other words. I, I don't know. You, whatever the exact complaint is, whatever they told That's you. That's what. Uh, yep. Yeah, they, they just said there was a. Uh, and you know how they like the colors like to inflate whatever the complaint is. I don't know exactly what they sure. said, but as far as on my end, what I understand is that there's is a sundown thing. Okay. All right. And I left as the sun went down. Okay. And so now there you was got no two... no issues or anything between you. Uh, with no. the complaint and nothing going on. It, it was it was just it was a, uh, a the warning about the sundown. Oh. Okay. Yes. So then you're you're most likely are right. There's a miscommunication somewhere in there. So right. I just wanted to make sure everything was was okay. 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 That's uh, it. Okay. okay. All right. Well, so let's that, get your name then. That's yep. Matthews. Yep. Okay, you're checking because yep. so this just, is this is. I thought we had an emergency going on here. It's, well, I, I, I wanted it's, to it's, make sure everything was okay on your. I saw end your too. face though. As soon as I passed you, you gave me that face like oh, 
And I was like, oh man, this guy's, this guy's <laughs> no. got me in his sights. Uh, no, yeah, I just wanted to make and, sure because they described the vehicle and I obviously yeah. knew supposed to still be there. So I just wanted to make sure you're okay. No, no. <laughs> Okay. Maybe it would have, would have been better if I stayed for you guys so that we didn't have this dangerous traffic stop. Oh, and no, we're okay. We're okay. Everything's good. All right. This is your well, vehicle it's, then it's and a, everything? I own it, yeah. Okay. What are you it, up to? Just uh, traveling around? I'm going to Walmart. Okay. So, I mean. No, that's perfectly fine. It's not too far. No, not at all. So, are you camping somewhere? Walmart. Camping? It looks like you're camping. I I'm I have a lot of stuff in my car. I mean, you you see okay. that. It's, yeah. uh, I'm 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 homeless. Okay. So okay. I mean, so I mean, I, I I guess I I may have gotten labeled uh, on the the park grounds th that way, and that's why he was a little, he was telling me about the the rules, which sure. I I think sure. they're on a sign somewhere. I mean, I thought I saw those, I and mean, I was intending to follow the sign. Sure. I mean, there's there's a sun uh -huh. there's a sunset rule, and it gets earlier and earlier every day. It does until that time of year, until uh, December twenty fourth. So yeah. it's it's uh yeah, it's it's a rule. It's I mean you gotta you gotta live with it because it's it's uh city. I think it's city property. Uh, no, I it believe says, that's the county. It, yeah. it says it's a part of uh, Hutchinson. Okay. And um, I write it down. Sure. Um, and uh, I mean I just I, I look for signs when I move when I go to parks. I look oh. for uh, whatever the rules are. Yeah. Uh, oh, no yeah. smoking and drinking sure. and. Um, yeah, there's various rules for every park. I mean, some of them are 10 p.m. Yep. yep. Some some are sunsets. So I, I got to pay attention to that. Yes. And and he he, he had to tell me that he okay. pulled up. He come so to there me. There was no other I, issue there. No, no. I I, I mean, he he okay. told me the rule, and I was like, okay, fine. Okay. Uh, uh, just go with it. So and I left. I mean, maybe I looked like I was intending to stay too long because I had things on my roof. Okay. All right. Um, because I was. I was walking around, ch taking a look at it. It's a campground. Yes. And I looked at the camp's ground area, and 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 I see what it's twenty five dollars for a tent, or twenty three dollars. Uh, okay. So I just I'm not even sure there. Yeah, it's so I I just okay. yeah I I spent the day there. I was there all uh, pretty much all day. So maybe okay. that gave the impression of the intention of staying too long. Sure. sure. But I mean, it's it's uh, it, it was just a place to hang out for me because I mean I'm not I'm slowly moving. Uh, I'm a I'm a slow mover. Okay. All right, but I mean, kinda, yeah. I, I plan on going to Walmart. I was yeah, okay. I was planning on it That's at least. I, I, I hope. Tonight? Yeah, I hope to at okay. least just uh, spend the night Do at Walmart you have and then. A, a driver? Could I, I just ID you? Yeah, I mean, so, I can. I, mean, if we... I can. I can. Yeah, I can. All right, so I got a driver's license. Not a problem. Yeah, you're good. It's it's down here. Okay. Okay. You're so. Good. Oh, uh, okay. Just so then, uh, if anybody asks, we can say, "Yep, nope, he's uh Yeah, just you're good sure to go. Is. Absolutely. The traffic stop. So yes, yep, yep. Uh, it's uh, nope, nope. Got a lot of money. Okay. Excellent. And everything otherwise would yeah. be current. That's where your uh, original yeah. address was. Do you but, not, yeah. So you don't live there anymore. Well, I'm, I'm using it as as a like yeah, a, I mean, a point, so like a a type of uh, what do you call it? Uh, just a mailing, a mail yep. point type of yep a place uh, for that. So I just. 